Hey, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're gonna talk about our backyard blues. This is what we started with, and this is where we're at now. It's a big difference, but still a lot of work to do. You guys come along and see what we've done to get us to this point. Six years ago, we bought a house, with, I would call it the worst house in the best neighborhood kind of scenario. When we bought this house, you couldn't even see the front of the house. It was growing up so bad. The property was just growing up everywhere. We also remodeled the inside. So we're doing pool maintenance today and I've got my safety gear on. And uh, I'll tell you what, this is some dangerous stuff. Let me give you a little bit of the backstory. A few years ago, Tanya and I built this pool by ourselves, and the location of the pool has become problematic due to the, all the leaves falling off of the trees. We're also prepping to sell our home, and I think cleaning off this back row will increase the value of the property because it's full of poison ivy and poison oak. This really has nothing to do with the video, but Gizmo really wants to eat my very expensive drone. Still, you can't take the boy out of me. For this job, we use both tractors, the T264 and the TYM T474. For our attachment and implements, we use the mini clip as you see here. This thing is, is magical, I'm telling you. It, it really saves a lot of time. On the small tractor, we use the mini rake grapple. As you can see from the intro also, we use the wood chipper. Last but not least, we use the chainsaws. Hey, welcome back to the channel. We're over at the house. Uh, you know, in the, some of the previous videos, we moved equipment to the farm. We, hey, we just turned around and moved it all back to the house. Not all of it, but to what we need to do here. We are cleaning up this back fence row here. When we bought this house, it was completely overgrown. Uh, and now that we have decided we're gonna put this house on the market and take the big plunge and build a house at the farm, we are literally uh, we, we're getting this ready, this thing ready for the market, all while simultaneously trying to build at the barn over there. It's really, really scary to do this. We are going to uh, sell this house, take our profits, live in our travel trailer while we build our our bean structured house. We're going to do a lot of the wood ourselves, but this this is all overgrown, and we're going to cut this down today. Uh, probably today, the next few days is supposed to be really nice. This tree, and we're going to cut out a lot of this stuff because. Tanya has already, swing around and look at the pool. So Tanya has already cleaned the pool out. Uh, we took the cover off of it and she's already cleaned the pool out and we've had three or four big storms that's just absolutely filled this thing back up with crap. Can I say crap? I'll put beep in there. Anyway, so anyway, it, uh, it's really, really a mess. And so we're gonna go ahead and take these trees down, a lot of the trees down over here, uh, all the way around it. We're gonna take a lot of this scrub stuff out and hey i'm filming over here so and uh to take a lot of this the scrub stuff out so it doesn't blow into the pool even after we get it filled back up say hi say hi say hi there <laughs> so you can see here we use the mini clip to cut the tree limbs down on the one side we wanted to make sure that it would fall the way we want it to then we used the chainsaw and laid it down pretty easy I found the mini clip was much less labor intensive by using it just to trim up all the limbs while it's laying on the ground and carried off with the tractor. After we cut the trees down, we cut each stump even with the ground. 
Don't tell anybody, but we ordered a stump grinder. We got a lot of stumps to grind here and at our other new place. After looking at the cost of renting one over and over again, it just made sense to go ahead and buy one ourselves. This big elm tree we're working around here, uh, we went to cut it down and I want to tell you what happened. We cut into one of the biggest nails that I have ever seen, almost a spike, and ruined two chainsaw chains. That's 50 bucks worth of chains just to get this tree down, but we got it down. I would like to show you the close-up video of that with a good camera, but I lost it. I'm gonna go out on a limb, or should I say out on a log, and say this is a little bit too much for the 264. Well, maybe not. I definitely would not do this on a hillside. This is a great place for the big tool rack with the extra weight that it adds in the back. It really makes it stable. old four by fours we cut off and, and I was like, what are you doing? And she's like, just, he couldn't see the picture what I was She's like, go too. away, we'll show you in the video. But they turn out real nice. She <laughs> take she took these four by fours and painted them white, put rope around rope around them. Tanya tried to weed eat the trees with our drone.